inside. Hmm. Oh, it's dark. Um, excuse me. What's going on with your menu? It's all bugs. It's bug cuisine. It's our specialty. Oh, I think I have to meet the person behind this. This is no ordinary restaurant kitchen. Here you'll find a chef dabbling in dishes that are creepy and crawly. How are you? So you're the guy behind the menu? I am, actually. I'm beginning to wonder if Andrew was in on this. Is this sort of like a gaggy, like, reality show, can you eat this kind of thing? Well, not so much a dare. It's just education. OK, well, I I'm all for education. Are you? I just don't know if I'm all for eating bugs. Oh, they're really easy to eat. These ones right here are Mopani worms. They're kind of tasty. They're kind of crunchy. They're a little bit, a little bit salty, but pretty tasty. Actually, more than half the people in the world do eat bugs, from silkworms to grasshoppers and even roasted ants. Bugs are cheap, nutritious, and yes, they apparently taste good. So, on the menu we have Mopani worm stew as an appetizer, scorpion pizza as the main course, and bug in every bite cookies for dessert. Mm-mm. Hey, do you need help? Can I? Yeah, do you want to stir? I love to stir. Well, you know what's even better than stirring? Why don't you add the bugs to that? Oh, of course. How about them right here? Oh, they're hidden. They look crispy, but they're kind of wet when you touch them. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle. Yeah, some... just sprinkle a few around in there. Sprinkle. Turns out, Mopani worms are a healthy source of protein in some parts of Central Africa, where food is scarce during the dry season. They're actually already cooked. You see what happens with these little Mopani worms? They harvest them, they boil them, then they dry them and salt them. These are like beef jerky. Kind of, worm jerky. We're gonna put that stew aside and move on to our next dish. Mmm, this looks good. Roasted red peppers, cheese, sauce. Pizza, right? You got it, but it's kind of a special pizza. Oh boy, here it comes. Yeah, and it's this little fellow right here that we're gonna add in. What have we got? That is a <gasps> lovely little scorpion. But don't worry, it's quite roasted and it's not going to hurt you. Never been this close to a scorpion before. It's actually more environmentally friendly to cook with bugs than cows or pigs because it takes less food, water, and land to raise them. So swapping scorpion for bacon or pepperoni makes a little more sense. With the pizza in the oven and the stew on simmer, we can move on to dessert. What we're gonna make is some bug and everybody cookies. The ingredients over here look pretty much like, you know, your regular cookie recipe, right? Oh, yeah, nice. Except we're Chocolate. gonna add some special stuff in here. But yeah. I just wallop. Sugar. So I guess now we should add the bugs. Mm-hmm. But don't go and start collecting crickets to cook up. There are over a million types of insects out there, but only some are edible. Others can be poisonous. These are specially raised bugs for cooking. This one is for Andrew. Everything's ready, and I've come too far not to sample my hard work. Okay. Let's try this. <gasps> it doesn't have a strong taste, and it's not a bad taste, but it's an I know it's there, and I know what it is taste. It smells like smoked deliciousness. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good mix. This is easy. We'll see Andrew do that. There goes, like, the biggest, cricketiest bite I can take. Very chocolatey and a little bit nutty. Bugs are great in food. I definitely know someone who needs to try bug cookies, even if he doesn't know they're bug cookies. <laughs> Voila, the dinner she is served. It's uh, buggy and delicious, yes? Did you know it's impossible to remove all the tiny critters from the food we buy? So the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and Health Canada say it's okay to leave some of the critters in. Over a year, we eat about a pound of bugs without even meaning to. Can you say crunch? For instance, there could be up to 40 insect pieces in a chocolate bar. And my personal favorite, a PB&J sandwich, can have up to 30 insect bits in it. What's that? Add a protein! Mmm! Mmm! 
Hey, I've been looking all over for you. You should have seen this cool cockroach that can drive and everything. Where have you been? Oh, I was just at a uh, cooking class. Nothing you'd be interested in. But I did bring you some cookies. Ooh, looks like chocolate chip cookies. My favorite. Hey, these are, uh, these kind of crunchy. These cookies are kind of crunchy. Still to come, hardworking bugs that entertain and amaze. We find some creepy crawly critters that can create art.